granted. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions big and small to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. Welcome everyone to the doghouse here at Orleans where the Lady Senators are taking on the Orleans Bulldogs. Uh, matchup of PLAC top runners at the moment. Orleans um, with a record of 9-1. and one. The Lady Senators with a record of 8-2 and two so far on this season. Halfway through coming into a Christmas break, um, you know, where we'll see some holiday tournaments and, and things. But both teams playing some pretty good basketball at the moment. I'm joined by my broadcast par partner tonight, Mr. Ryan Batt. Ryan, what are you thinking about tonight's game? You know, I tell you what, Craig, we've been sitting here watching the JV game, and it's a pretty hot game. And, you know, we got a lot of – a lot of uh, anticipation from the crowd, the home team crowd here at the, at the uh, Bulldogs uh, Stadium, you might say here. And, uh, you know, he's talking about house. the doghouse. The doghouse. The doghouse. There you go, the doghouse. There, there. But, uh, you know, I always, always hate to play in here. I tell you, as a player, I, <laughs> this is just the most terrible place to play. I think my senior year we played here in the high school boys basketball five times. Yeah. And we we, we, uh, we won two and they won three. Well. <laughs> kind of one of them deals. But, uh, anyways, you know, we're, we're here in the doghouse here in Orleans and you can hear the pet band in the background and and boy I tell you what during the JV game it was you know I think we was up there quite a bit and they came back yeah. and they ended up end up beating us by one or two points there and, and I tell you what you know the crowd was into it and, uh, both both teams I think you know the girls I talked to the girls a little bit today and on and off and uh, you know being my daughter on the team there I talked to her just a little bit more and and she goes, Dad, we're fired up, we're ready to go. So, you know, I, I'm pretty, in, pretty, uh, pretty well ready to see what's going to happen here. I think, I th you know, I've watched the girls play off and on. You know, with the girls in basketball. Uh, you know, Orleans comes in here with an excellent set of girls. I know they got a freshman coming in starting tonight that that uh, you know has come off the bench. And, and uh, from what I've heard in the crowd, you know, being a double double the past couple games, and and uh, you know that's something to look at. But you know, the Senators still out there. You know, putting five or six players up there towards the double digit scoring in every game, and and uh, you know, always led by Meredith Deaton there uh, uh, for us. But uh, you know, I, it's it's exciting to watch these girls play. I think it's going to I think it's going to come down. You know, we talked earlier. We're either going to come out fast or we're going to come out slow. And I hope this is the first game that we we uh, we uh, show whether we're going to lead the game or not. So, you know, like I say, I think I think we don't want to play with them. I think we want to we want them to play with us. You know, you you touched on it. You know, Meredith Deaton leading the team with 14.4 points a game and and a little over six rebounds. Um, you know. And everybody around knows that Meredith's gonna gonna get her points. Then we step down to Jayla, who's getting almost 11, and then really doing a great job on the boards with nine a game. The question is, who is the third option for the Senators when that when those two are unable to get their buckets? Who do we go to? You know, I, t I tell you what, Craig. You know, we, I, I don't know if you got to watch the the Peak and Eastern game there, county rival game. A uh, pretty damn good game we had out there at, at the, we played at Peak, and then, you know it was an upbeat game. They also had their crowd and their and their. Uh, 
you know, the band and cheerleaders and all that other stuff going on out there. And, and I tell you, uh, you know, uh, Emma Schmidt stepped up in that game there. Yeah. And, you know, I, I don't know what she scored, but she did a lot of the right things. And, and you, know, I, you know, we've always talked about Emma being the smallest kid on the court coming out with the rebound. Well, you know what, Emma, Emma's a, a value to this team. And Emma's, Emma's not so much been in a scoring column you know, to lead the, lead the Senators, I don't know, in any game, but but she's always right there with, the, you know, a dozen baskets or, or not a dozen, but a half a dozen baskets or something like that and some rebounds, some steals, some, some good things. And then, you know, Ava Woods has picked it up the past few games. Ava's come in there. Uh, you know, she got off to a slow start. We've gotten foul trouble the first five or six games that we played. In the last couple, you know, she's – She's got. She's still getting some fouls, but she's getting them at different times, and maybe, you know, staying in there, hanging in there, coach leaving her in there a little bit, and letting her work through it. And uh, you know, then also uh, two or three games back, we had Shelby Griffiths come in there, uh, senior leader there for the Senators, come in there and scored what 16 points or something yeah. like that in the one game. And you know, it, uh, you know, who, who's the third player? I, I don't really know, but I, I tell you, I tell you one thing. It, it's. It's a it's a great thing to have multiple girls that can step up and do things. Oh different. yeah, for sure. You know, you touched on it. Ava Woods averaging six a a, a game, um, and that's that's basically because she's had foul trouble um, in the first what three or four games three or four of the season. Games, yeah. You know, she didn't get to play a whole lot of minutes, so definitely hard for her to get you know more than that going. Um, you know, Emma Schmidt averaging five a game, doing pretty well with her. Shelby with five. One person that we haven't talked about yet who may just be the spark plug for this Lady Senators team is Lily Thompson. Yeah, you know, you know. She comes in off the bench. She gives you good minutes. She plays hard the whole time that she's in there. Um, are you going to get some turnovers with Lily? Sure. But hopefully on the other side, you know, she's going to create some havoc and, and get you some turnovers. So. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know Lily, she – I was talking to a guy there, Danny. He said, "What about Lily Thompson?" I said, "Lily Thompson reminds me of when I was a little kid. He had those little cars that you pulled back, and it, sometimes it went and sometimes it didn't. Yeah. And you know, I tell you what, when Lily, when you pull that car back and it goes, it goes 100 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. and, and it's you're right. You're going to get some turnovers and you're going to get some stuff going crazy. But I tell you what, that girl's athletic speed is yeah. unbelievable. I think that she can go with a basketball in her hand the length of the court is about as fast as anybody can run it. Yeah. And I and I tell you, I wish she would just step up into that role. She she was in that role last year we come into it at the start of the season she kind of come back maybe had that injury last year with her ankle or knee or something and then and then kind of like she's never just really picked right back up on that spot where she left off before we went into sectional play last year you're exactly right and, and this is a a good test for these lady senators you know this orleans team is a a team that has won you know quite a few games they're they're not underclassmen you know they're they've got you know some juniors some seniors you know sprinkled in there um, you know, but they've got an offense that has given this Lady Senators team some some trouble in the past. Um, you know, they, they run a, a motion offense, a flex offense that keeps the motion going all the time, and that's where sometimes the Lady Senators get caught and don't switch a, uh, a pass or a drive right. that they should, um, you know, and, and it leads to an easy layup right down the lane. Yeah, we got we got up in the peaking game the other night to uh, – uh, come out there. To th I think we was actually down maybe one or something at halftime. Come out in the third quarter and got a rhythm going again. Uh, got up a few points and then you know uh, Peak and kind of come back on us a little bit there. Uh, the charge was led by Lily. Yeah, you know Lily comes in there and, and pushes us kind of right there at the end. And, and uh, you know Jayla comes out of the game and, and uh, substitutes out for Lily and we just leave Lily in there because she was driving to the basket. And and uh, you know. I tell you, we've we talked about in these games uh, previously, you know, how are we going to come out and play, how are we going to come out, what's the secret to the game. You know, I, th I think both uh, you and I can both agree that uh, the secret to the game is how, how fast we come out in the game. Yeah. We've, we've come I out the first few games. We came out lightning speed. We ran the ball. Uh, you know, the Perry Central game, I, I, like I said, I don't know if you've got to do that one much, but the Perry Central game, they came out, and, and I'll tell you what, those girls, about four or five trips down the court, we was winded, they was winded, and yeah. no one stopped yeah. the whole game. Yep. And, and you know, that's that's one of those games where, you know, you're, you're going to make or break on those as fast as you can go. And I think that's kind of where we got to be tonight. We can't let them dictate if we're going to control and be fast or they're going to be fast. I think we got to show them that we're going to come out here and we're going to own the court and we're going to take it to the basket. And, you know, they're going to have to foul us to stop us. No, I agree with you 100%. It, we've got to get out. We've got to move. We've got to play at a fast pace. The other side of that is we got to rebound the ball. Yeah. You know, in the Peking game, there were times where Peking was able to get three or four rebounds on the offensive side, and we weren't able to stop that possession, yeah. which is, you know, something that this Lady Senator team can't give up. They can't continue to give up offensive possessions to their, you know, opponent. 
they just they, they're not a team that's built to run from behind. They've got to be able to, to get up more shots. They've got to be able to, to speed that up. Right. And that all comes, in my eyes, from the defensive side of the ball. you got to rebound the ball. you got to turn. you got to kick it. you got to go. Yep. And, and you know, like the Senators, you talk about rebound. We got four girls on our team that's five eight. We got one that's five ten. Yeah. You know, there, there's really no reason why we're not getting rebounds. And and, and I, I'm not saying that we don't because we do. We do get a lot of rebounds. But you know, one thing we got to make sure is we're checking out every shot. We got to check out. We have to have our hands up. And you know, like I think last year in the, in this same game we played at our school, and I I believe uh, you know Callie Austin. She's probably the leading scorer for the Orange yeah, Bulldogs. And and uh, you know Callie's a great player. I've watched her grow up and play with uh, my girls. Uh, you know, the, the actually the sophomore girls, you know, through uh, Biddy Ball and all Sunday Ball, whatever you want to call it. But, you know, like she's always been a threat and always been a player for Orleans. And, you know, like say, like last year we kind of got her in foul trouble to start with there in maybe yep. the first half, and she kind of sat down a little bit. But when she came back out in the second half, I don't think she got a foul the rest of the game. Right. So, you know, like getting fouls on these girls, you know, because, you know, looking down here at the size without looking at the sheet right now, they may be just as tall or as tall as we are. They're built just about the same same speed we are. So, like I say, it's gonna, I think it's going to be a dogfight when we get down here, in, you know, tonight to see who's going to get the most rebounds and, you know, come down to just like the JV game came down to free throws. You know, how we're going we're gonna to have to be – we're going to have to be the team that hits the free throws. And, uh, you know, I, I know we were talking the free throw percentages earlier there uh, with one of the players, but, uh, you know, Free throws are going to be big. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the thing. The one edge that the Senators might have is on the free throw side. Um, you know, Ryan touched on it with the height. Pretty evenly matched. Um, you know, they've got a couple of, of knockdown shooters on their team. We've got a couple of knockdown shooters on our team, so pretty even there. The one area that I say we've got the edge is in the free throw side. Um, you know, the – the Orleans Bulldogs struggle a little bit from the free throw line. So that may come into play, you know, come the fourth quarter when when a team is down or a team is up, you know, that's a way to get back in the game is those free throws. Yeah, and, and you know, like I say, we – I don't want to wait till the fourth quarter to start hitting them. Uh, you know, like, let's, let's start. Let's start the first quarter, the first time we get fouled, and put them up and in. And you know, like say, well, I'm sure that you know we're going to miss a few, and that and that's understandable. But you know, like say, we we have got to make sure that you know the I, you know the key the key is is when we get that box out, we want one of their players jumping over our backs instead of us jumping over one of their backs. I know it. You know, there we was teasing Jalen when she came up here to visit with us. You know, <laughs> don't get a foul at half court. If yeah. you get a foul past the three point line and you're not losing the game by one point in the fourth quarter, uh, you're probably going to get in trouble when you get home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. let's, let's make smart fouls. And that's the thing that has plagued the Lady Senators a little bit, um, you know, is the foul trouble where they pick up fouls, you know, 60 feet from the bucket. That's not a, a good foul for them. That's not one that they need to pick up. They need to, you know, keep those fouls in control and, and have the fouls underneath their own bucket when they're playing defense. That's a that's when you, you know, need to pick up those fouls, yeah. not the 60 feet away. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we've had – We've had a few senators, you know, pick up those fouls and, you know, mid-court and first quarter. And, you know, I'm sitting, we're sitting there thinking, well, why in the world would you foul there for it? And, and, you know, it's just, it, you know, you, you knock that off to, you know, the first couple games of the season, getting your jitters out and stuff like that. You know, we're coming into Christmas break, and we're going to come in to see some of the toughest schedule that we've seen all year long uh, in the next few games. And, you know, we got we got to be more prepared for that. And we got to make sure when we're fouling, we're fouling, like you said, under the basket, preventing them from shooting the basket, <laughs> not, not out here at the three point line. So tonight's game is the first road game that we've covered. We want to give a big shout out to our special sponsor tonight that allows us to bring you this game here at Orleans and it's the guy sitting right next to me. It's Ryan Bat with United Producers. Big thanks to him for allowing us, um, you know, sponsoring uh, live stream and WWSR and allowing us to come out on the road and get this game in so that you guys can listen to it on the WWSR website and on Facebook Live. So it's there, no um, video tonight for you, but you get the audio. So, um, you know, if you're looking for a place to watch it, it's in both of those. But give a special uh, shout out to Mr. Ryan Bat, my broadcast partner tonight, for sponsoring this game. I appreciate it, Craig. You know, like I say, it's it's a it's an honor to go out and work today and get to come home and, and uh, watch this game and. We're going to do a national anthem, I think, here in just a couple minutes. But uh, pleasure is mine to make sure this happen, make, or to help make this happen tonight, and, and uh, appreciate all the support from the fans at home. Well, like Ryan said, we are about 10 seconds away from the national anthem, so we're going to kick it over to the national anthem, and we will be back with our starting lineups here in just a moment. Oh, say can you see? By the dawn's early light, 
what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the United Producers Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Batt at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. 9421 or just visit our website. Back to live action here at the doghouse where they are going through the starting lineups. The Senator is going to start their normal starting five. Uh, starting the three guard set is number 12, the senior Shelby Griffiths, 5'4, averaging five points, two rebounds a game. Second in is number three, Emma Schmidt, the 5'4 junior, averaging five points, three rebounds. And the third guard in the three guard set is Meredith Deaton, the 5'5 sophomore, averaging 14 points, seven rebounds. The two in the front court, number five, Jayla Batt, the 5'7 sophomore, averaging 10 points, nine rebounds. And then rounding it out is Ava Woods, the 5'11 junior, averaging six points, four rebounds, wearing number 32. The Senators come in with a record of eight and two, coached by coach Kristen Missimore in her second year at the helm of the Lady Senators. The Orleans Bulldogs are going to start a two-guard set. Number 10 
Uh, Adrian Abel, the 5'6 junior, averaging four points, two rebounds. The second guard is Cambry Klein, number 31, the 5'5 five five, uh, junior, averaging eight points, three rebounds. Then their two forwards, they start Callie Austin, the leading scorer for the Lady Bulldogs, the 5'9 sophomore, chipping in 15 points and five rebounds. Her front court mate is Miley Knight, the 5'8 junior, averaging six points, five rebounds. And then to round out their starting lineup is Chelsea Ralph, the 5'8 freshman, averaging 10 points, five rebounds. They are coached by head coach uh, Jared Gilbert. This is a PLAC matchup of the top of the PLAC at the moment. So, you know, Craig, I think I think tonight, you know, <laughs> look at the crowd here. Yeah. I, mean, I know the fans can't see it, but I'm, I'm sure they can hear it. And if oh, you can't yeah. hear us, text us in because I'd say this one's going to be a going to be a pretty good uh, first quarter to see who, who, you know who's going to play the momentum of the game because. There's a there's a dang good crowd here tonight, and you know, uh, looks like we got a pretty good set of referees. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely a very I, experienced. I, yeah, set. We, we've had these referees quite a few times in the past. I think maybe first time I've seen them this year yes. for us, but uh, uh, you know, pretty good set of referees. I think we got Jayla and Callie going to tip it off tonight. Jayla gets her hand on it, but unable to control it. It comes out to number 20, Miley Knight. Going to do the ball handling on this first possession. Comes over to Abel. Abel picked up by Shelby Griffiths at the volleyball line. Looks like Senators are in a 1-2-2 two, two tonight. Kind of trapping those wings. Comes back across to Knight. She swings it over the top back to Abel. Back to Knight around the three-point line. Looks like Callie Austin's going to be the cutter there for Orleans there, cutting to the middle, and we just got to keep our hands up and yeah, monitor they, that. They go down into the post to Ralph where three Senators pick her up around the top. Out to 31. Klein for a three. Misses that, but Ross uh, – Alston able to get that one and put it back in. Makes the score two to nothing. They're going to come out in a 1-2-2 two, two full court press. Going to go off of a Bulldog out of bounds to the Lady Senators. Jay Bat inbounds the ball to Shelby Griffiths. Looks like they're going to stay in a 1-2-2 two, two half court. Senators swing the ball around the three-point line, down into Schmidt. Schmidt gets it to bat, bat, couple of power dribbles, but unable to control it. Yeah, Jalen needs to turn to the middle on that and kind of see what's open. She just kind of looked baseline and, and tried to kick it out. And goes out of the bounds on Cali for the Bulldogs. Meredith going to inbound here. Goes all the way out top to Griffiths, back to Deaton in the corner. Cut her down the lane, nobody there. Going to stay with the Senators. Got lucky on that possession. Yeah. Klein gets her hand on it, which just sends it out of bounds. So, Senators retain possession. And then we've got our first turnover of the game. Yep. Meredith tries to get it into Shelby in the backcourt. Kind of throwing those overhead passes. That's not going to work with Callie. Callie can jump. She's got yeah. long arms. She stretches out like Jalen Meredith does. Yeah. Alston is a 5'9 sophomore, so... Definitely got some length. Senator, or sorry, Bulldogs working the ball around the three-point line, looking for a cutter along the post. It goes into Alston. Alston with a turnaround. That one no good, but rebounded by Ralph. And then she gets it blocked out of bounds. So Bulldog ball underneath. 6.34 left to go in the first period. Ball comes straight into Ralph. Ralph goes up. Good bucket for her. <laughs> The freshman averaging 10 points per contest. Senators break the press. Meredith gets it across half court. Gives it up to Schmidt. Schmidt then gets it poked away. Meredith able to take it back. We're going to get a foul on the floor. I believe that's going to be on 31. Yeah, I think that's going to be Cambry Klein. Uh, maybe no, it's not a foul. We just called it out of bounds. <laughs> Can't see with a little block ledge here in front yeah. of us, but uh, I didn't. Th I thought it was a foul. Comes into the backcourt to Griffiths. Griffiths with the crossover. Gets down into the lane, kicks it to bat around to Deaton. Deaton drives back down the lane. That one up, no good. Three you know, she, she kind of missed, missed that shot, but I'll tell you what, that's what we got to have. They attack the basket. Ralph underneath. That one, no good. We're going to get a jump ball. 
Going to yeah. go to the Lady Senators. Emma boxed out there, and they kind of maybe went over the back, but they didn't call it. So yeah. we're going to be Senator That's three rebounds ball. already for the Lady Bulldogs. Deaton inbounds the ball to Schmidt. Schmidt goes in the center of the court to Bat. Bat brings it across half court, then tries to get a diagonal pass going. Nothing there. Over to Schmidt. Griffiths down the lane. I like how off. we're driving, Craig. We're, we're kind of, you know, driving in and then looking for that pass. Shelby gets the ball back up in the corner. They go in the center to bat. Bat drives down the lane, Ooh. puts that one up. That one's no good. Going to be another rebound for Ralph, who's going to kick it ahead to Alston. That one kicks underneath the bucket on the opposite end. So Senator's going to get the ball and have to drive the whole court back the other way. Bulldogs looking to get out and run also. Meredith inbounds the ball to Schmidt. Schmidt a couple of dribbles and back to Deaton. Deaton back to Schmidt. They go to the center of the court where Bat has it, gets converged on. She goes over the top to Deaton. There's a lot of hands right there. I yeah. think we could have called a foul right there pretty easy. Oh, and then they call a foul on us. <laughs> I think they're going to get Jayla Bat for that one. Yep. Going to be Jayla's first foul of the night. Lady Senators do trail four to nothing. 5:03 left to go here in the first quarter. Abel bringing the ball up. Looks like the Senators are going to be in a 1-2-2. Two, two. Drops it off to Knight. Knight goes over the top. Comes back to her on a over the top pass. They're going to just keep throwing it over the top of our zone here. It's another rebound for the Lady Bulldogs. They drop it back into Knight. Knight off to Klein. Klein for a two-point bucket to give them six. Yeah, and we played good defense there. We just didn't. We left one guy open. Senators another turnover coming back the other way. Ralph with the ball. She gets by Deaton up to Alston. Alston up and good for two. Gives her four on the night. Lady Senators going to take a 30-second timeout. They've been outscored eight to nothing in the first four minutes of this quarter. Yeah, and you know, like I said, Craig, it's not a it's not a game of speed here. Uh, you know, we're, the teams are both playing pretty competitively as far as racing up and down the court. I think, you know, that press that they got us in right here, we're just kind of making some of those sloppy passes. Uh, uh, you know, that we're we're throwing over the top, and they're throwing over the top. It's, the difference is, is they're getting a hand on it. And uh, you know, that's, <laughs> you're, you're exactly right. I mean, it seems like every pass that we try to have, you know, they're in the passing lane. They're getting their hand on it. And Coach Gilbert is a big, um, you know, get a hand in the lane guy. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, they're they're doing exactly what their coach is asking them to do. Lady Bulldogs are going to come out with the same lineup. They haven't subbed anybody in yet. Neither have the Lady Senators. So we've got all ten starters back out on the floor. 5-16 left to go here in the first period. Eight to nothing, all Lady Dogs. They get it into Griffiths in the corner. It comes across to Schmidt. Schmidt over to Bat. Bat gets it across half court. She's going to drive the lane. There's Ralph. Shot goes up, no good, but Woods there to clean it up. Ava Woods gets the first two-point bucket for the Lady Senators tonight. Griffiths picks up uh, Abel at the half-court stripe. Abel picks up her dribble and drops it off to Knight. Knight guarded by Bat. Leaves it off to Klein. Klein going to come back out and reset it. Over to Abel again, out on the Bulldog, on the center court. Comes in tonight, Knight a couple of dribbles, nothing there. Leaves it off to Ralph. Ralph, a nice move. Not able to get it, and then Woods is going to foul her underneath. Going to give Ava her first foul. Senators just got to get that box out. We just, we're lacking on the box out. We... You know, that, that team, they can jump over us, reach over us, and, and you know, the refs ain't – we saw that they're not going to call a whole lot. So, uh, you know, we're going to have to get that – the exceptional box out to get these girls stopped. Yeah, the the Lady Dogs already have nine shot attempts just to the three for the Lady Senators. So, we've got to get some rebounds going. They've got six already. Knight down the lane. That one up and good for two for her. Makes the score 10-2. to two. 
Lady Senators get it across half court. It's going to be a two on one, leaves it off for Woods. Woods goes up, but going to get fouled. I think they're going to get Abel for that one. Yep, they report it as Adrian Abel. Abel Woods going to go to the line. Abel Woods, the 5'11 junior, shooting 70% on the season from the free throw line. First one up and good. Gives her three points on the night, all three of the Senators' points. I say we talked about them important free throws, and Ava must have heard me. <laughs> Second one of hers up, and it's good. It's a nice shot. Gives her four. Miley Knight going to do the ball handling. Jayla picks her up, three-quarter court, picks her pocket, and then going to go the other way up. And good for two for Jayla getting on the board, making it 10-6. to Yeah, that's Still what we got to have. We need, we need to do that pressure. I know last year when, you know, we, we kind of come out with a with our own defense, just like Orleans did there with Jayla and Meredith up top. And, you know, that it makes a big difference, them long arms up there. Jayla already with one foul. She's got to be careful, doesn't want to pick up a second one. Alston down the lane, that up, misses it. Woods with the rebound. That's a good rebound by Woods. Meredith looks at a three, pulls it back out. Griffith sets up the offense around Schmidt, down in the post to bat. Bat, couple of dribbles, not going to get that one out. Going to go, going to stay with the Lady Senators. Ralph is the last one to get a hand on that one. Deaton inbounds the ball to Griffiths. In the backcourt, going to bring it across. Swings it to Deaton. We see a Woods flashing up to the free throw line. Around to Schmidt. Schmidt, couple of dribbles, and then leaves it off to Jayla Bat in the corner. Shelby Griffiths gets into the free throw line, lets that one go. It's no good, but Bat with the rebound. That one no good. Got to get back. They throw it ahead to Alston. Alston up. That one no Fumbles good. Fumbles it. Meredith gets a good rebound there, and she breaks away going down the court. Meredith reverses pivot, then gets her pocket almost oh. picked. <laughs> we got. <laughs> I think Meredith's arm is bent back. Yeah, in the, we got everybody on the floor. We got yeah. three players on the floor. She gets up fine, but. So we're going to so take a timeout. The Bulldogs here. called timeout yeah. somehow with a loose ball. <laughs> yeah. Not exactly sure on that one, but it worked out. So yeah. Lady Bulldogs going to get this ball coming out of. The uh, timeout, going to be a 30-second timeout, so we're going to stick with you right here. Lady Senators do trail 10-6, to 136 left to go in the first quarter of play. It's been all Bulldogs. They've been able to get seven rebounds so far and 12 shot attempts up. So, I mean, that just just tells you, you know, they're, they're beating yeah, they're, us on the boards. They're, they're, doing, they're doing a great job. But, you know, I tell you, you know, we're 136 to go, like you said, in the first quarter. It's 10 to 6. It looked rough to start with, but we're still hanging in this. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're you know, right like I say, the, the momentum is not one way or another. Uh, it, it look, statistically, it looks like Orleans should be ahead 15 points. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we're hanging in there. We're kind of, I think we're kind of getting the feel of it. We're kind of going to beat that press. We kind of figured it out. I think whenever, you know, Jayla catches that ball in the middle, she's got to go with it and yeah, depend on Woods to be on the other side. Correct. She's got to uh, turn and take a couple of dribbles right. at least to make that uh, press react. Abel bringing the ball up. She's going to be met at the half-court stripe by Shelby Griffiths. Handed off to Alston. Around to Klein. They go back to Abel on the far side. Back to Klein. Klein drives down the lane, met by Woods. She leaves it off for Rolf. Nice pass there. So that gives her four points. Woods at the other end going to get her shot blocked. Back come the Bulldogs. Knight brings it across half court, off to Rolf. Rolf leaves it off. It's going to be picked up by Deaton. We're going to have a jump ball there. Well, they let him fight for it for a yeah. while. And that's great. Meredith's been on the floor three or four times trying to get after that ball. Yeah. First sub is Gail. She comes in, the 5'11 senior. <coughs> uh, I believe she's going to replace Rolf. I think, yeah. Now they're going to say it's Orleans ball. Yeah. So set up underneath their own bucket. 
Senators in a 2-3 zone here. Yeah, that's what <laughs> <laughs> one of those deals you know that Callie Austin's going to get the ball underneath and yep. Ava's got to keep her hands up because that's just not one that you don't need to reach yeah, you don't around need to reach for the for ball. That one. I think we're going to see Macy Lowry come in now. Yeah, the freshman going to check in and get Woods a, a break here with her two personals. Macy Lowry, the 5'7 freshman, averaging three points, two rebounds a game. Bulldogs still have the ball underneath their own bucket. Kicks it out top to Alston. Alston guarded by Meredith Deaton. Swings it back around to Knight. Knight off to Klein. Klein thinks about a three for a second, but changes her mind. Back to uh, that's a deep three that's been missed. Yeah, there we go. Emma Schmidt on the rebound there, and I, I tell we talked about that in the pre in the uh, pregame. And Emma, I tell you what, she's the ball just attracts to her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of remarkable how it just kind of goes where she where she is, and and she's doing a great job getting those rebounds. Cambry Klein picks up that personal foul. Griffiths one dribble back into Deaton. Back to Griffiths. Griffiths back to Deaton. They work it the two-person game to get it across half court in this 1-2-2 two, two zone. Yeah. Then Shelby gets her pocket picked, so that's turnover number four, but then it comes right back the other way. Jayla Bat able to take it away off to Deaton. Deaton shot up. It's no good, but Griffiths gets that rebound. Leaves it off to Schmidt. Schmidt drives down the lane. That one goes up. It's no good. That was a good drive by Schmidt, though. We noticed the time. You know, a lot of times you get in those fumbles and stuff, you don't notice the time, but that was that was good to get that. That was a good shot she took. So we're going to step aside for a commercial break from um, American Family Insurance. We will be back in just a moment. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. Back to live action here at the Doghouse where the Lady Senators do trail 12 to six to the Lady Bulldogs of Orleans. First quarter was all about rebounds. The Bulldogs were able to get eight to the Senators five. There's a first turnover of the quarter. Schmidt unable to get that pass going. Ball kicked around, left off to Gale. Gale for three, that one no good. Deaton with the rebound. The Senators running the floor. We did pick up uh, uh, well, number 21 is going to get the foul. Yeah, that's Gail. She's going to pick up her first personal. Yeah, we did pick up uh, Lily Thompson. Lily Thompson yeah, on the, she checked on the in at the, She checked in at the quarter break. The Senators are in a stack. Jayla's going to throw it in. Throws it into Macy. Yeah, Lowry out top, hands it off to Thompson. Thompson going to set up the offense 2-3 zone now. They came out in a 1-2-2 two, two in the first quarter. Now they're in a 2-3. A couple of dribbles for Bat. Bat throws it out top to Thompson. Thompson able to snag it one-handed back to Lowry. Back to Thompson in the middle. Deaton. Deaton gets it to Schmidt. Schmidt with a couple of dribbles off to Lowry at the elbow. Elbow shot no good. Hey, that was a nice shot. We'd take that shot all day. That will be of, off the Bulldogs and West Washington basketball. Meredith goes into about the second row of concrete bleachers here. Yeah. Don't want to land in those too many times. No. Ball inbound to Lily Thompson up top. She's going to run the offense. 
comes out to Schmidt. Schmidt looking down low, nothing there. Off to Lowry. Lowry looks to get it, but then uh, Klein gets her hand on it. Sorry, Abel gets her hand on it. Passed ahead to Gail. Gail unable to control that one, so going to be a turnover back the other way. So kind of a turnover fest here in the start of the second quarter. First quarter, the Lady Senators had five. They picked up one here. The Lady Dogs were able to get through the first quarter with zero turnovers. Thompson over to Schmidt. Schmidt brings it up the side. Gets across half court, looking to get in the lane. Leaves it off for Lowry. Lowry over to Bat. Bat, nice power dribble. And then gets the shot up. Unable to hit it, but Schmidt able to get the rebound. Schmidt kicks it off to Lowry. Goes off her leg back to Schmidt. Swings it over to Thompson. Thompson looks at a three for a second. Drives baseline, nothing there. Back into Deaton. Deaton, nice move. That one up and good for two for Meredith. Gets her first bucket of the night. That was a good drive by Meredith. I think she needs to catch it there in the middle of, the, of that zone and, and turn around and go. Gale up. That one no good. Two girls run oh, into themselves. Oh. <laughs> two Orleans players ran into each other. No one centered her around, and they called a foul on – Still what is she going to gonna call it on? <laughs> going to give it to wow. Schmidt. Emma Schmidt gets a foul by watching the play. <laughs> Coach Messmore finally getting on to the referee here. We've waited for this for a few games to see her converse. That's a free throw miss. First free throw attempt of the night for the Lady Bulldogs. Savannah Russell missed that one. We got Callie Austin's going to take a seat for the Bulldogs here. There might be a, a chance for us to do some damage here. Russell's second one, it's up and good. That's a nice shot. Makes it 13 to 8. 6.15 left to go in the first half of play. And as I figured, the Bulldogs would pull the press off with Callie Austin going yeah. out. Schmidt brings the ball up over to Lowry to bat in the corner. Over to Schmidt at the elbow. Shoots that one. That one banked in. Good for Emma Schmidt's <laughs> first two points of the night. I think she knew she was going to pass or shoot, but we'll take it. Either way, it worked. So, Lady Senators cut that lead to three, 10 to – sorry, 13 to 10. Lady Dogs bring the ball across half court. Abel doing the ball handling, hounded by Thompson. Thompson's looking. She's looking. There yep. we go. Five, Five seconds. Second call on Klein. Thompson does a nice – or, sorry, on Abel. Thompson does a nice job of staying in front there. 31, Callie Klein going to check out. Ralph going to come back in. Deaton going to inbound the ball to Schmidt in the backcourt. Lady Dogs going to stay in this 2-3 zone that they're in at the moment. That one goes right in the middle to Deaton. Off to Thompson for three. That Ooh. one hits no good. Deaton with the rebound. That's a good pickup by Meredith. I think she got slaughtered underneath the goal, but we're not going to call none. Easy, Meredith. Just want yeah, to pick up a don't foul. Pick up a foul <laughs> over there. Abel yeah. underneath to Ralph. Ralph up. She traveled. Going to be a travel turnover for the Lady Dogs. Their third of the game. That was almost something bad. We had Ralph on Emma. Yeah. That, that might not have been <laughs> a very good post that's play for us. Quite a bit of size given up there. You know, Ralph, the 5'8 freshman, Emma Schmidt, the 5'4 junior. Bat in the corner, one power dribble, kicks it out top to Schmidt. Schmidt, a couple of dribbles to Thompson, into Deaton. Going to stay with the Lady Senators. It's deflected out of bounds. Referees look at each other. They agree. Yeah. I think the Orleans coach is too happy about that, but <laughs> it was, we're sitting behind it. You could see the Orleans player hit the ball. Yeah. Ball comes into, I believe that was Bat, unable to get the ball up. Going to be a turnover for the Lady Senators. They're going to throw it ahead. Are the dogs, they're going to turn it over too. Macy Lowry now doing the ball handling out on top of this 2-3 zone. That one then thrown out of bounds the other way. So eight turnovers for the Lady Senators so far, three for the Lady Dogs. Senators going to pick up a full court press here. Macy Lowry going to hound Miley Knight as she inbounds the ball. That one comes into Russell. Sorry, to Gale. Gale off to Abel. Abel comes across half court where she's picked up by Thompson. Thompson chases her down the baseline. Still doing the ball handling. Kicks it off to Russell. Russell down the lane over Deaton. 
Leaves it off Ooh. to Gale for a three-point bucket. The first three-point make of the night for the Lady Dogs. Then Emma Schmidt gets it taken away. Leaves it off for Ralph. Ralph up and good for two. Gives her six on the night. These are the runs that hurt the Lady Senators. Yep. Once again. And I tell you what, the Bulldogs are all over our passes. Yeah. All over them. We see Weird. Shelby Griffiths check back in along with um, Klein and Alston. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to uh, think about these passes. Yeah, it's I mean they're right in the passing lane the whole time, so just uh, like that. Another one deflected, another one deflected. Going to be a, a jump ball here. Meredith unable to get a hold of that ball. It's in between her legs on a bounce pass. So 3.53 left to go. 18-10, Lady Dogs out ahead. Inbounded to Austin. Austin back to Knight. Knight with the spin move. Goes down the lane, leaves it off for Gale. Gale back to Knight. Back to Gale. Gale down. Going to get it blocked by deep, or by Jayla Bat. I tell you what, the, the dogs smack and hack at the Senators and on that there are coming down there on the floor, yeah. and they don't call anything. Meredith Deaton going to get a foul called in her favor. That one going to go on Miley Knight, her first. Just the second of the quarter. 33, Jill Salmon going to check in. 5'8", junior. Ball inbounded to Griffiths. Griffiths off to Thompson. Thompson to Lowry. Back to Thompson. Looks at a three. Nothing there. Griffiths, the senior, going to set the offense back up. Thompson dribbles down in the lane. Back to Griffiths. Griffiths over to Deaton on the opposite side of the floor. Deaton for three. Bang. That's good. That was a long one, too. He gives her five on the night. He was a couple feet behind that three-point line, and she failed it. Austin going to do the ball handling now. She's hounded by Macy Lowry. Lowry with a nice reverse pivot there. Off to Gale. Gale, Gale down to Rolf, and Meredith's Meredith going to pick, that, pick that, that one up. Number 10, Abel checks back into the game. Looking to get it in. They're having a little bit of trouble. Rolf <laughs> comes in off of Rolf's foot. Then we see Lily Thompson on the floor. So Lady Senator is going to get this one. That's going to be a turnover for the Lady Dogs. You know, and that's where, that's where you know, we, we, we saw this play. They did the same play every time they take the ball out of bounds yeah. under their goal. Uh, you know, they're looking for Callie or Rolf under the goal. That's There's no question at all. Well, and they do a nice seal job oh, there. That, they that they seal reverse and, and pivot. The, and Rolf is she is built like an athlete now. I'm telling you, she, yeah. she's not going. You're not going to push her around too much. Deaton misses that three, but the center is going to retain possession. Bulldogs unable to get a hold of it before it goes out of bounds. So, Senator's going to reset. Jayla Back going to take it out underneath her own bucket. Comes into Lily Thompson. Thompson's going to dribble it back out to the top of the floor, set that's, up the offense. That's good speed by Lily. She, she knew the play was broke. There's a turnover the other way. Rolf going to come in and make it a three-point bucket wow. where she makes that layup. Lily Thompson going to foul her on the way in, going to be Lily's first. Chelsea Rolf going to go to the line where she is the best free throw shooter on the team at 72%. Off a couple of dribbles. Up, oh, missed that one. Jayla Bat with the rebound, coming back the other way. Off to Griffiths. Griffiths looks to Deaton, but nothing there. Comes over to Thompson. Thompson back to Griffiths, around to Deaton. 
in the middle to Lowry. Lowry, nice look. It's mm -hmm. going to come off to Thompson. Thompson, a couple of dribbles, nothing there. Senator set it back up. Griffiths for three. That one no good. good. Look. Lowry gets her hand on it, but unable to secure it. Then she finally does off to Deaton, and they're going to set it up again. Lily for three. Jayla goes up for it. That one's no good. Out ahead to Abel. Abel able to knock that one down for her first two of the night. Lady Dogs out to a nine-point lead now, 22-13, 1.38 left to go. Marianne's Deaton for a deep court. three. Bang. <laughs> wow. Knocks that one in. Gives her eight. When they talk about shooting it from the volleyball line, yeah, that, that, was, that it. was there. That was it. Wow. Abel going to bring the ball up, set up the Bulldog offense, coming the other way. Dillon Deaton Inward. on Ralph. Ralph down the lane. Lays, puts that one up. Hits about four times on the back yeah. of the iron and then goes through. She's got ten already. Ralph is a threat in there. I mean, she's by far the, the our person we got to stop for sure. Yeah, Macy Lowry able to turn around and knock down a, a two-point bucket from the free throw line. Makes it 24-18, Lady Dogs. Ralph doing the ball handling out top now. Kicks it across to Klein. Klein back to Abel. Abel going to give it a couple of dribbles where she's hounded by Shelby Griffiths. And gives it back to Klein. Line over to Abel. 36 seconds left in the quarter. And we're going to go off of Abel's foot. The ref's going to talk about it. The ref, <laughs> on the, ref on the sideline says he did not see it. Oh. So he's just going to give it to Orleans. <laughs> Orleans going to check in, number 20, Miley Knight. You know, Senators need to stop here. Yeah. Uh, you know, down six points and going into halftime. 28 Hopefully seconds left to go here. Lowry gets sealed yeah. by Alston. Alston goes up and puts in her third two-point bucket to give her six. Griffith's going to race it across half court. Deaton looks at a quick three, nothing there. Back to Griffiths. Griffith swings it over to Lowry. Lowry going to get oh. that one blocked. Thompson puts it up. She's going to get fouled by Ralph. Kind of a, a lost play there with Lowry getting it blocked. Going to be the third team foul on the Lady Bulldogs. Lily Thompson goes to the line where she's only a 43% free throw shooter for the year. That one no good. Lady Senators are two of three in the first half. That one drops in for Lily to get her on the there. scoring side. We've got Five seconds left to go here. Alston with a reverse pivot. Going to pull up for a two. Oh, that's no nope, good. No, no good. good. Still in her hand. So she does drive the whole court, gets a, a, the shot up, but it's after the um, horn sounds. The Lady Senators do trail 26-19 after the first half of play. The Lady Senators are led in scoring by Meredith Deaton with eight. Then they have um, Ava Woods with four, Macy Lowry with two, Jayla Bat with two, Emma Schmidt with two, and Lily Thompson with one. The Lady Bulldogs are led in scoring by Chelsea Ralph with her 10. Then Callie Alston with six. Uh, Gail with three. Abel with two. Knight with two. Uh, Cambridge Klein with two. And rounding out their scoring is Savannah Russell with one. When we look at shooting percentages, West Washington three of four from the free throw line for 75%. They're five of 14 for 36% from two point range, two of six from three point range for 33%. So overall they are seven of 20 for 35% from the floor. The Lady Bulldogs are one of three from the free throw line. They're 11 of 20 from the floor for 55% and one of three from three point line for 33%. Overall, they are 12 of 23 
for 52% from the floor. Rebounds even. Senators come back big in that second uh, quarter, able to even out that rebounding at 11 apiece. But the one thing that is hounding the Lady Senators, they do have 10 turnovers to only four for the Lady Bulldogs. So we're going to take an extended break here, have the commissioner's corner, um, and we will be back for the second half action here in just a moment. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. It is our weekly conversation with the Commissioner from the IHSAA. It is the Commissioner's Corner. I'm Brendan King, and for the Coach Bob Lovell, who will be back with you after some vacation time in Florida, Florida. Paul Neidig is our guest. Paul, great to be with you, my friend, after what was another spectacular IHSAA football state finals. Uh, just wrapping up the football season, it always flies by. I mean, heck, it started way back in early August. We're talking now here in early December. Just to put a bow on the football season, what did it mean to you? Well, it, it, like any time we, we wrap up the season, it's time to celebrate the, the wins. And, you know, the wins are much more than just the scoreboard along the way. But it, we celebrate those wins. And then, you know, we'll already have some conversations and we have in the office about, uh, about next year. You know, it, it, it's a revolving door so to speak when it comes to state tournaments and year after year and you know we're not going to sit on our laurels we're going to continue to look at this tournament and uh, you know I would say that next year 2024 we'll be back better than ever and I'm sure there are going to be some teams that are working hard today in the weight room and they're preparing to get back and 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 hopefully we have some teams that haven't had the experience of a state championship or at least a participant being able to participate in the state finals uh, work their way into that spot for next year and we're certainly ready for that. Paul Nattig's with us. Paul, every state finals is fun to cover, but I think especially this one. Of course, your hometown North Posey Vikings were there, but you know, Crown Point coming down from the Northwest. There were multiple teams from Fort Wayne, along with multiple clubs from Indianapolis. It just kind of felt like a melting pot this year, man, where you see all these different communities from all around the state coming down to Indianapolis. That was a cool weekend. Yeah, it was a cool week, and it's so cool for those communities to be able to do that. You know, Crown Point, I think that was their first trip, and North Posey, I know that was their second trip, and uh, it, all it does is create a little bit of hunger to get back again, uh, especially if it's not uh, old hat to you and your community. I mean, we have uh, we, when it's when it's new, uh, people hunger for that again, and I'm sure uh, we'll be there'll be some teams that uh, right now are working hard to make that return trip next year. So, Paul turning the page to basketball season girls basketball was already well underway but now we're into the boys basketball season as many that listen on indiana sports talk it's all about the hoop scores now uh, does your day-to-day -day change at all when you turn the page to december and uh, focus on hoops you know for me and not necessarily our assistant commissioners it certainly does um when they're you know they they, they close the door on one sport and, and and never completely closed but they're preparing for their state championships now right around the corner here after the turn of the year and uh, you know me it's still kind of business as usual I've got the, the normal day-to-day -day stuff that comes through the office and you know people forget that the Indian High School Athletic Association is a not-for-profit it's a business that doesn't use tax dollars to operate and so we have a business entity that we have to run and all those different types of things come into are things that I stay focused on year-round and certainly focused on right now as we close out the calendar year and get ready for a new one. Paul Nottig is our guest here on the Commissioner's Corner. I'm Brendan King and for the coach, Bob Lovell. Paul, the big thing this year, as I was reading on IHSAA.org, rule change significant across the basketball circuit. No more one and one. It's all about two shots now, right? Yeah, it is. You know, and it's not something, uh, you know, the way that works is the National Federation of High School governs the rules of, of basketball and other sports. And, you know, it, it, it's not a rule that certainly Indiana was necessarily in favor of, but, you know, the majority won and the Federation changed the rules. So we're going to embrace that rule and make a change. And I've had mixed emotions on it. I've had people say, you know, it certainly changes the strategy of the game a little bit. And others uh, the, the call, fall a little bit more in my camp and the traditionalists and one on one has been a part of the game for a long time. And I, I just didn't see, uh, I didn't see that part of the game broken. And so, but, 
it's here. We're going to embrace it, as I said, and we're going to uh, we're going to see how it goes this year. And I'm sure with all the skills of Indiana high school basketball coaches, they'll get their players to adjust to it in no time, just fine. This is the Commissioner's Corner. I'm Brendan King, Paul Nodding, the Commissioner of the IHSAA. Paul, always enjoy catching up with you, man. Thanks for this. Thanks, Brendan, and appreciate everything you do. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, Donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions, big and small, to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. Back to live action here at the Doghouse where the Lady Senators do trail 26 to 19. Ryan, first half thoughts. You know, I, t- I tell you what, Craig, we came out here and we, we you know, we didn't let them, we, I, don't, I wouldn't say that we, we let them run over us, but we just kind of made some silly passes and, and maybe, you know, didn't box out a little bit there to start out the game with. I think whenever we kind of got into the rhythm and the routine there coming into the, you know, the later part of the first quarter and into that second quarter, we started boxing out and we started moving our feet a little bit better, getting that ball and breaking that press. And, you know, uh, just throwing those passes that's normally, normally been there, uh, probably not passes that we've been doing, but, uh, uh, you know, this team here, like you said earlier, the coach uh, strives off being in that passing lane. And when it, you know, it, if it's a if it's a fingertip or if it's a you know a deflection, any type of anything that's getting in the way of that pass, you know, like you know, th- this team's gonna they're gonna touch the ball. Yeah. Uh, uh, you yeah. Know, like, and you know they're not afraid to throw it down court and let your player go get it. We've seen them throw it away two or three times. Right. Just throwing it down court, saying, "Hey, go get the ball. I stole it." You know, and, and that's something that we're not used to seeing as well. You know, so we got to get back on defense. We got to box out, you know. Most important, you know, we got to take that ball to the basket because, like I say, we we're not really taking the basket on that two-three zone. We're kind of collapsing down, and then they're kind of getting kind of getting the ball back. So you know, we got to do something to kind of overlook that. But you know, the girls been playing good. I'm not I'm not worried right now. I think you know we got to get in here and we're doing a lot of right things, and we just got to keep playing. You know, talking about things that are right, the the Orleans band. <laughs> They can play. The Orleans band can come and play <laughs> anywhere they want to play. Yeah. We had some Rudolph the red Nose reindeer. Yeah. We had all kinds of stuff during the halftime show. So back to live action here where the Lady Senators do trail 26-19. to 19. Austin brings the ball across half court. Oh, she to, traveled. To Rolf, who's going to <laughs> yeah. walk, give the first turnover of the half to the Lady Bulldogs. Yeah. She might be on TikTok later. Yeah, that's one of those videos yeah, you were talking about earlier. That's one of those videos I was talking to you about, yeah. <laughs> Deaton going to inbound the ball. It's going to come into Schmidt. Schmidt 
Jayla Back going to bring it down the floor. Nice Euro step there for her. Yeah. Lays that one up and in. Is that a move you taught her? I, I probably didn't because I would have traveled and fell down <laughs> if I would have did that. That's one of those stepping over the pigs. Uh, in yeah, the pen, yeah, right? that's right. That's right. <laughs> Lady Dog's going to come around. Austin drives down the lane, gets that one up on the backboard, going to get a foul. I'm not sure who they're going to give that one to. Deaton and Schmidt were both there. They're going to give it to Jayla. They give it to Jayla. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of the people who I thought were around that That's place. That's kind of what so. I thought. You know, you never know uh, the official there. That, that guy's pretty random. Callie Austin going to go to the line. 63% on the year. That one up and no good. They were only 33% in the first half from the line. So second one up. It's nothing but net. So gives Callie seven on the night. Ball inbounded to Deaton. Deaton, a couple of dribbles, leaves it off to Griffiths. Griffiths looking to get it back to Deaton. Deaton looking ahead to Schmidt. Schmidt then attacks the press that's there. Leaves it off to... <laughs> I don't think anybody here is happy with these officials at the moment. Yeah. Gilbert's not happy. Messamore's not happy. The crowd's not happy. They kind of just look at each other and be like, okay, you make it. No, yeah. you make it. So Griffiths with the ball out top. Goes over to Deaton in the corner to Bat. Bat looking to get it out of the corner. A couple of dribbles around to Schmidt. Back to Griffiths. Over the top to Schmidt. In the middle to Woods. Woods gets it taken away from her. Coming back the other way. Alston out ahead of everybody. That one up and good for two. And that's the, that's the key to that one, two, two that they play. You know, you got a cheater man that's always up. Yep. Going to be kicked by Alston before, they, before the Senators can get it across half court. Lead is at 8, 29-21, 6.43 left to go here in the third. Deaton inbounds the ball to Griffiths. Going to be a 1-2-2 full court press here. In the middle of the bat where she's met by Ralph. Deaton, a couple of dribbles, nothing there. Over to Schmidt, Schmidt for three. That one touches Looked all good. the net but doesn't get anything. Bat with the rebound. And then another two-point miss for the Lady Senators. And Ralph comes off with it. Ab nope, not Abel. Abel now has the ball go off her head out of bounds. Yeah. That's one of those plays. They're not afraid to throw it down there. No, they're going to chuck it out ahead. And that's, one, and that's one thing. When the Senators put the ball on the up, up in the air, someone is running back to the other end for the Bulldogs. And the referees look at each other again. <laughs> going to be a turnover for the Lady Senators. Their second of the – Half. You know, Craig, I, I don't understand why they don't call it a jump ball, so it just <laughs> at least looks good, you know. Comes back into Alston. Alston one dribble. That one up, no good. Deaton unable to secure that one. And see, on a play, a play like that, I know the audience can't see at home, but, you know, Meredith seals off uh, Cali, and then Roth comes over top of Deaton and, and basically knocks her down, but there's no foul. And, you know, from where I come from, that, that could be over the back. <laughs> Griffiths ahead to bat. Bat almost travels. And then we're going to get a travel all the way across the court from the side official on the yeah. opposite <laughs> side of the floor. A little bit of a struggle tonight for the, the guys in stripes. Yeah. 29 to 21. Bulldogs are ahead. 5.50 to go here in the third quarter. Dogs leave it off. Two Knight. Knight leaves it off to Rolf. Rolf over to Alston, who's then going to get fouled by, I believe Woods is going to pick that one up. Going to be a foul on Ava Woods, her third. Senator Nation giving the guys in stripes all kinds of uh, advice on how to call this. Senators get a rebound. Come back the other way off a three-point miss. Bat off to Griffiths. Griffiths around to Deaton. Deaton going to drive. Pulls up for a 15-footer. That one no good, but Bat there for a rebound. Oh, man. There's Sorry if that was a little <laughs> bit loud, but golly. Meredith just gets knocked flat Meredith to her back. got tackled. Team first. 
They give that one to Chelsea Ralph. First, second. Ball comes into Griffiths in the backcourt. She's going to be picked up by Alston. Crosses Alston up, down in the lane, nothing there. It's going to be deflected out to Abel. Abel leaves it off to Alston. Alston back to Abel. Over to Knight, to Rolf. Rolf a pump fake, going to travel. Makes it three turnovers apiece early in the second half. Early. 21-19. Yeah, Sorry, 29-21, 5-0-3 to go in the third. Already three turnovers for each team. That's one a minute. Deaton going to be trapped in the half court in this 1-2-2. Two, two. Goes over the top to Schmidt. Schmidt saves it inbounds, but Rolf going to take that one away. <laughs> Shelby Griffiths. <laughs> Not a uh, great decision by her no. to go up and try to block that one. Yeah, Roth's probably a foot taller and a lot bigger than Shelby. Yeah. Probably not going to slow her down. Shelby gets to about her shoulders Maybe. with her head. So Roth knocks that one in for point number 13. Griffiths leaves it off the bat. Bat gets it across half court over to Griffiths. Griffiths to Schmidt. Schmidt looking in the middle to Woods. Woods kicks to bat on the baseline. Good for two from her. Gets her six. Abel bringing the ball up. Shelby with hands all over. Drives down the lane. That one no good. Bat with the rebound. Ahead to Deaton. Deaton crosses over. Leaves it off to... Uh, Woods unable to control that one. Jayla Bat up that one way too hard. Going to be taken away. And then Meredith Deaton able to put that one up and good for two. Gives her 10. Oh, she be wasn't over. out of bounds. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Coach oh, hang Gilbert. on a second here now. What happened? <laughs> Coach Gilbert going to take a timeout, 30 second timeout. Kind of a so I wonder uh, who has the ball whenever we come well, back. Well, it'll be the senator. It should be the senator's <laughs> ball out of bounds because Orleans had a turnover there. They weren't out of bounds when they tried to throw it inbound. So should be the lady senator's ball. Coach Miss Moore in the center of her huddle, just letting letting her players have it a little bit. Hey, let's get some offense going here. We're yeah, we kind of we're kind of just we kind of got into that third gear range, you know. Yeah. We're just kind of sitting there, just waiting to go, and we need to maybe kick it in second and get some momentum going. Like I say, we're we're just playing with the Bulldogs, and the Bulldogs are not a team that's out and overly aggressive by any no. means. Uh, they do get their hand in the passing lane and they do run the court, but they're not an aggressive team. So yeah. you know, we we and we are, I think, to an extent. So we got it. We, we're going to start being more aggressive. Jay Lebat going to throw the ball in. We get two screens coming. Woods tries to steal. Woods tries to seal, but then we're going to turn the ball over and back the other way. And then we're going to pick up a foul. 31. Uh, Cambry <laughs> Klein goes up for that shot, but she doesn't get it off. Jayla going to pick up her third. So we've got Jayla with three and Ava with three. Klein goes to the line where she's a 69% free throw shooter on the year. That one no good. Yeah, it was almost as Jayla knocks the ball out of her hands, comes back down, another person catches the ball, and then we call a foul. <laughs> that one up and good for Klein. Gives her three on the night. Deaton with the ball off the bat. Bat ahead to Griffiths. Yeah, Shelby's got to catch that ball and dribble it. Yeah, just a, an odd place to catch it. Going to be turnover number seven of the quarter for the Lady Senators. Griffith's going to come out. Thompson checks in. The one thing we talked about earlier is just like to see Lily, you know, as she comes in here, put a little fire in that ball and dribble that ball up the court, get that ball up the court. Thompson picks up Abel. Abel off to Alston. Alston gets a screen by Rolf around the lane. Nothing there. Thompson with her hand on it. Off to Knight. Knight no good. Three-pointer. Senator's able to get that rebound, and Meredith Deaton off the other way. Abel, the only one back. That one up and good for Deaton. Gives her 12. Yeah. 
Abel brings the ball across half court where she's met by Thompson. Thompson. Oh, we're going to get uh, Schmidt with a foul on that one. I don't know, Craig. I, I don't know if I'm seeing it wrong or, or what, but we, we do a touch foul and get a foul. And they basically lay on us and, and don't get anything. Well, if you you, look you hate the, to be that way on the radio when yeah. you can't see it, but I mean it's kind of one you, of those. If you deals. look at the scoreboard and you see the little numbers on the bottom, and it's five to one. Yeah, in a that's right. <laughs> so, Kimberly Klein goes to the line. That one goes through and is good for her. That's number point number four. Senators yet to shoot a free throw in this quarter. You get a good box out here. Second one up and good. Move it out to an eight-point lead for the Lady Dogs. And then we turn it right back over. Thompson passes it, unable to get it, but luckily the Dogs throw it right back over. <laughs> and, it, and it's just like that. We, we throw it back, they throw it back to us, and they throw the ball to Ava, and she holds her hand out like she's going to hit it like a volleyball or yeah. something. And, she know, got her we hand we on top to, of it, so at least we, we got to jump ball that. out of it. Yeah, we need to grab that ball. And that's where, you know, some of these passes that we're throwing tonight, we're not coming to the ball. Right. You know, uh, I, I think that's that's one of the big keys tonight is we're, we're waiting on that ball to get to us instead of going to get that ball. On a team like this here, we're going to have to go get that ball. Ball's inbounded to bat. Bat looks at a three but changes her mind. Thompson comes up the lane to take it away. She's going to be picked up by Abel. Off to bat. Bat around to Schmidt. Schmidt off to Deaton. Woods and Rolf really going at it in the low post. Three-point miss, rebounded by Knight. Knight going to bring the ball up, leaves it off to 31, Klein. Oh, I believe she drug her foot. <laughs> Klein back up to Knight. Knight off to Abel. going to be a full timeout. So we're going to step aside, take a quick commercial break here from one of our sponsors, and we'll be back in just a moment. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Back to live action here at the Doghouse where the Senators do trail 35-27. 2.18 left to go here in the third quarter of play. Looks like we're going to get Macy in for who came out there? Uh, uh, Ava. Ball comes into Abel in the back where it's left off tonight. He's swinging around Austin down in the post. Nothing there. Uh, Klein puts up a three. It's oh, no good. Get her off. Oh, they tackle Macy and call a jump ball. So hmm. Bulldogs going to keep possession here. You no, know, I like the way the centers played that last defensive play. They all dropped down whenever Callie got the ball, defended her. They took an outside shot and missed it. Knight handling the ball around the top. Ralph. <laughs> Ralph has the ball between Lily Thompson's legs. Yeah. So Senator's going to get possession here. 151 left to go in the third, trailing 35-27. Thompson in the middle to Lowry. Lowry turns back to Thompson across the top to Schmidt. Schmidt going to travel. She traveled. Got a little, she was thinking good. Yep. She caught the ball, and she wanted to pass, and the defender came up. And that's a good, honest mistake right there. 
So Senator is going to pick up in a 1-2-2. Two, two. Full court press here. Ball comes into Knight. Knight a couple of dribbles, leaves it off to Abel. Abel comes across the three-point line, looks to drive, but nothing there. Back to Knight. Jay Labatt picks her up. Knight down the lane. Good for two yeah. for her. Didn't have no help side defense there. Gives her four on the night. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> we got a foul. Yeah. <laughs> Only the second of the quarter yeah. for the Lady Senators. Going to be Abel's second. Thompson gets the ball inbounded. She brings it up. She's going to be met at the half court by Alston. Probably one dribble too much there. We, we make a dribble and just get ourselves in a bad position. So Deaton to inbound the ball. It comes all the way out top to Schmidt. Schmidt off to Thompson. Thompson to bat, bat down the lane. And <laughs> goes into Rolf and yeah. just unable to get the ball up on the backboard. She's going to get it blocked out of bounds. Maybe if we give Ralph a pump fake, she'll get in know. the air or something. Deaton down the lane, that one up, no good. With her own rebound, then gets that one blocked. Austin out ahead to Rolf. Rolf kicks the ball across the court to Klein. Klein back to Knight. Knight two dribbles to the elbow, leaves it off to Rolf. Rolf down the lane, that one up way too hard. Senator's going to get that on a rebound, and then Thompson going <laughs> to get fouled. Only because she jumped on top of her back. <laughs> <laughs> Callie, Callie Alston's first foul of the night. Rolf going to come off, and 21. Gale going to come in. Ball into Lily Thompson. Thompson a couple of dribbles to the center. Goes ahead to Schmidt. Schmidt right off of Gale's hands. Going to be a turnover for the Lady Senators. Bulldogs coming back the other way. Knight leaves it off to Abel. Abel looking to set up the offense. Hounded by Schmidt. Off to Knight. Knight picked up by Bat. Knight drives down the lane. That one no good, but going to be off of... Macy Lowry's hands, 15.7 left to go. Lady Dogs up 10, 37-27. Dogs get it in to Knight. Knight comes back up top, sets up the offense. Back to Abel. Abel drives down the lane. Nothing there. Off to Alston. Austin back to Knight. Knight puts up a two-point bucket. That one drops in for her. Yeah, she wasn't even looking. She just kind of turned and threw it. That's going to leave the score going into the fourth, 39-27. Lady Senators do trail by 12. We're going to jump out, take a quick commercial break, and we will be back in just a moment. Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Matt's one-car, two-bedroom apartment with a home office slash home gym insurance. You, yeah. We're good at Nick's SUV and farmhouse with a remodeled kitchen slash art gallery insurance. And we're good at the Wilbur suburban home with the two-car garage slash rehearsal space insurance. Have you seen my hockey socks? Have you checked your sock drawer? Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Back to action here at the Doghouse where the Lady Senators do trail by 12 going into the fourth quarter. We've got eight minutes to go here, and the Senators have to make up 12 points. Yeah, they, they got to get down there, Craig, and we got we got a box out. We got a box out. We got to keep Callie Austin and, and uh, uh, Ralph off the, off the boards. And, uh, you know, I, I tell you what, they're, they're driving to the basket. Joe took the ball to the basket all the time. got blocked. Uh, I'm, I'm not saying she didn't get fouled or she did get fouled, but I'm telling you, like, we got to keep going in there. It's unbelievable that Ross would only have two fouls and, and touch the ball every play down the court. So, uh, you know, at some point we got to be able to get something working here and, and uh, get the Senators back on top, and we got to start shooting that ball. We can't come down and keep passing it. we got to make some something to go up on the, on the rim and try to get something done. You're exactly right. 
Lady Senator is going to come out with Bat, Thompson, Lowry, Deaton, and Schmidt. Elena Schmidt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now the refs associating with the yeah. uh, Jared Orleans Gilbert. coach. I don't know if they're figuring out what they're going to do in the fourth quarter or what, but. I believe that's a earring in. Isn't that a technical foul? <laughs> so apparently one of their players had earrings in. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Yeah, that's a technical foul. You can't have merchandise in your ears when you play basketball. <laughs> so Bulldog's going to inbound the ball. Still eight minutes to go here in the fourth. Comes into Alston. Alston one dribble and then picks it up. Lowry hounding her. Contenders playing great defense. That's five. Going to be five seconds. Turnover <laughs> for the Lady Bulldogs. Deaton inbounds the ball to Thompson. Thompson going to bring it across half court where she's met by two Bulldogs in the middle to Lowry. Lowry one dribble and then gets it deflected. Going to be turnover coming back the other way. Austin out ahead. Nice run through by Lily Thompson. But Austin going to be able to knock that one in, get her into double digits. Yeah, that's a great that's a great play by Lily. She traveled. That's turnover number 12 of this half. <laughs> you know, Ele Elena, Elena is a excellent defensive player, but she's got to get under control on the offensive end. Yep. That's 22 turnovers in the game for the Lady Senators. Still seven minutes to go here. We're going to get beat long. What? We're going to get Meredith Deaton for a hold at half court. Huh. That's personal foul number two for Meredith. Nice job by Jayla Bat to step in the passing lane there. Going to stay with the Bulldogs. Abel going to take it out underneath. Looking to get it into Gale. Gale drives around. Deaton able to take that ball away. So going to be a turnover for the dogs. Deaton going the other way quickly. Kicks it off to Thompson. Thompson down low to bat, bat, up and good for two for her. That's good, wide open. Jayla stuck under there, wide open. That's eight points on the night for Jayla. Out top to Knight. Knight off to Klein. Klein guarded by Adele Brown who checks in. You know, she didn't box out right there. All kinds of <laughs> fouls underneath. <laughs> Let me guess, <laughs> number five. There you go. That'll be her fourth. Jayla Bat's fourth. Miley Knight going to go to the line, 65% free throw shooter. That one spins around about three times before mm -hmm. it falls through. Gets Knight point number seven. Jayla Bat going to check out. Ava Woods going to check in. That one up and good also for Knight. Thompson ahead to Lowry. Lowry, a couple of dribbles before she starts to attack. Off to Woods, then back out top to Thompson. Thompson over to Lowry. Pump fake, drives baseline, nothing there. Woods in the lane, puts that one up. It's no good. Brown unable to get a hold of it, so it's going to go out of bounds to the Lady Bulldogs. Rolf going to come in. Gale going to come out.
Knight inbound on the ball, comes into Abel. Abel hounded by Thompson. Thompson cuts her off at the Bulldogs logo. They send two at her. Deaton gets her hand on that one. Nice job by Macy Lowry to run with Alston underneath when she tries to get that pass. Lowry with the hand closest to the ball, able to knock that one out. Yeah, Alston was going to go in and, and uh, make, make a backdoor pass, and there was nobody over there. It's a good job, Macy, to keep in rhythm with that. Lowry. Oh, no, nope. Deaton comes out with that rebound. So two-point miss for the Bulldogs. Deaton in the corner to Brown. Brown puts that one up. It's no good. You know, Dell's got to get her feet set. She was a little bit nervous there. She knew she was going to shoot. They get that feet set and get a good shot. Meredith Deaton chases Knight down the lane. Knight up and good for two. Gets her 10. Gets the third uh, Bulldog in double digits. Center's going to turn it back over. Alston. Meredith gets the rebound, bounces <laughs> off three people, and then they kick it out of bounds. Yeah. So Thompson going to check out. Shelby Griffith's going to check in. I think we're going to get a timeout. Yep, Senator's going to take a timeout. We're going to stick with you through this timeout. Senators do trail 45-29. It has been a, a little bit of a run here for the Bulldogs. They have... You know, kind of stretch this lead out. It was 39-29, and they've rattled off six in a row. Yeah, they, we, you know, we just kind of got out of rhythm there a little bit. And just, uh, I think we're getting kind of shook up a little bit, kind of getting, kind of getting those, uh, you know, thinking that we're going to get beat syndrome we got <laughs> going on here. You know, we just we got to work through this stuff, and this is something that, you know, we're gonna we're gonna see this from here on out. You know, yeah. this, this is not this is. Maybe one of the first, you know, like maybe Pekin didn't put that much pressure on us in a couple of games before that, Mitchell and stuff. But, you know, like right here's one of the first games we're going to see pressure. Yeah. Uh, Mitchell, Orleans' bench is not very deep at all. We've only seen one or two rotations in here, uh, you know, with, with people coming off the bench. So, uh, you know, if you ever got them in foul trouble, you would be setting really good. But, yeah. you know, that's just one thing we've never got tonight is got them in foul trouble and we've never got the, you know, the rhythm going whenever we've had – you know, Callie on the bench or or uh, uh, Roth on the bench. You know, we've never gotten that rhythm of getting the ball low and, and doing anything with it. You're exactly right. 5.31 to go here in the fourth where the Lady Senators do trail 45-29. Ball inbounded to Griffiths. Griffiths going to bring it across half court. Not only can the band play instruments, they can also sing. They can sing. So Listen at them over there. That ball is a two-point miss for the Senators. Lady Dog's going to come out with that rebound. Deaton picks up Knight. Wow. So Meredith Deaton going to pick up her <laughs> third. A very, very touch foul. Jayla Back comes back in. Uh, I think she's going to get Lowry. So we've got Jayla on the floor with four, Meredith with three, Ava Woods with three. Senator's got to catch a spark here. Comes into Alston. Alston over to Abel. Abel off to Knight, picked up by Deaton. Nice reverse pivot there by Knight. Swings it back over to Abel. Knight leaves it off to Rolf. Rolf up and good for two. Leading scorer in the game, 15 for her. Griffiths across half court, off to Deaton. Deaton thinks about a three for a second. Into Woods, nothing there. Going to be another turnover for the Lady Senators. Comes up to Knight. Knight picked up by Deaton once again. Brings it across the top to Klein. Klein back out to Abel. Abel off to Austin. Back to Knight. Jayla tries to reach in there. Smart to pull her hands back. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to pick up the fourth. 
Or sorry, the, the fifth. fifth. The fifth foul. Fifth foul on her. Rolf again yeah, underneath gonna, for two. What can we do there? You know, you, look, you they leave Jayla back on the on the you know in there. She can't foul, so we're gonna see uh, Layla Manship check in. They swing it across the top. Gonna be a foul. Gonna be a foul on Abel. Her third. Layla Manship comes in. And 21. Gale comes back in for the Bulldogs. Senators set up in their out of bounds play. It comes into Deaton. Deaton, nice pump fake. That one goes up. It's no good. We're going to have a jump ball. Layla Manship ties up Rolf underneath. Griffith steps out for the three. That one up, no good. Austin with the rebound. She's picked up by Jayla at the three-quarter court line. Bulldogs content to swing it around the top with their guards. Able down the lane, tries to put that one up. Rolf goes over Manship's back. Rolf Alston goes <laughs> over Bats back. Yeah. <laughs> Gale with Amazing. a three. That one no good. Finally, the Senators get the ball out of bounds underneath their own bucket, down 20. Three minutes to go here in the fourth. Swing it across to Brown. Brown for three. Hot Bang. row for three. <laughs> Now they're going to call a delay a game against us on a warning. <laughs> wow. Apparently one of the lady senators touched <laughs> the ball as it came through the net. And she crossed the line before she threw it in again. <laughs> well, and if it's an out-of-bounds play, she can't move. So yeah, yeah. She what definitely is traveled. the deal there? <laughs> Lady Dogs swinging it around the top with their guards out top. Shelby Griffith's trying to pick up a foul, I believe. Jayla Bat trying not to pick up a foul. Jayla off the side, two. Shelby, Jayla for three, that one blocked. We're going to get Gail back into the game. She's going to take Knight out. 2.14 left to go, 49-32. Swings it over the top to Bat. Bat looking to get through the lane. Nothing there. Over to Deaton. Deaton, a couple of power dribbles. Then back to Shelby to set up the offense. There we go. We got Deaton drive down that time. We need we need more of that drive, and now we're driving to the basket. Shelby gets a shot up on the backboard. Layla Manship there to get a hand on it, but unable to control it. So going to be Lady Dog's ball. A little offense for defense here, apparently. Gale out. Knight back in. Going to be a full court press here. And she traveled again. <laughs> <laughs> out of bounds. Alston doing the ball handling here. Hounded by Bat. Bat tries to get a hand on it, unable to do so. Down the lane where she's then double teamed. Comes back out to Klein, around to Knight. Knight picked up by Deaton. Left off to Klein. Klein back to Abel. Abel back to Alston. That's a hook. You can uh, see yeah. it all the way up yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, reach around. And we're going to get a jump ball. Oh. Well, 
The Orleans coach was calling timeout. The one ref wanted to give him a timeout, but since it was Orleans ball, we're going to just go ahead and give it to him, well, I believe. Knight to inbound. She gets it in to Alston. Alston still being guarded by Bat. Moves it off to Abel. Abel. And she's still hooking her. But Shelby's going to get the foul. Yep, Shelby going to pick up that foul. Hands in the back. So now the Orleans band's getting in trouble by the ref. There's no noise. Ball comes into Rawl. Gale going to go down the lane and put that one up. No good. Brown out with the rebound. Leaves it off to bat. Oh, she's going to travel. Yeah. <laughs> Just kind of got the ball in the wrong spot, unable to get going. 55 seconds left to here, left to go here. 49-32. Both Schmidt girls going to check back into the game. Yep. They're going to get Jayla out and Meredith out. Looks like both coaches kind of clearing their benches. So Izzy Rutherford going to inbound the ball. Izzy was a big player in the JV game. Yeah. Heck of a softball player. Yeah. Abel doing the ball handling here, hounded by Griffiths. Comes over to Gale. Gale picked up by Schmidt. Over in the corner to 22, Russell. Going to be Lady Senator Ball. 39.5 left to go. Shelby brings it across half court. Lady Senators running their offense. Trying to get something going here. 20 seconds left to go in the game. Off to Schmidt. Schmidt gets the shot up. That one no good. Goes off of Rutherford's hand. Brown going to inbound the ball. 15.2 left to go. Griffiths off to Schmidt. Schmidt around to Brown. Brown for three. That one oh, no good. All the way down and came back up. Better do something with it. Hey, good shot. There we go. Emma Schmidt with a two-point bucket there to make the final score. 49-34, Lady Senators do fall in this one. Leading score for the Lady Senators is Meredith Deaton with 12. Jayla Bat has eight. Um, Ava Woods with four, Emma Schmidt with four, then Adele Brown with a three-point bucket, Macy Lowry with two, and Lily Thompson with one. The Bulldogs were led in scoring by Chelsea Ralph with 17. Callie Austin has 11, Miley Knight has 10. Then they have uh, Klein with five, Gale with three, Abel with two, and Russell with one to get them their 49 on the night. Ryan, final thoughts. Well, I tell you what, Craig, it's a, it's a great time to come out here. I, you know, it sounded great this morning whenever you texted me and said, let's come out here and do a radio <laughs> show. I'm glad we did. You know, I, I tell you what, it's a PLC, PLAC tournament match. Uh, uh, you know, it, it, we, we just never did get in rhythm there, and we never did have an offensive rhythm that we went, you know, in, in any quarter that we had. You know, usually you get in a good rhythm. You scored six, seven points here, you know, right away, and we just kind of never got in that rhythm. Uh, you know, boxing out kind of the – I wouldn't call them lazy passes. I don't think we made lazy passes. I think that, you know, Orleans just got a handle on just about everything that we threw. Uh, most of the passes went on and went to the other – went to our team in a, in a roundabout way or it got stolen and we, they yeah. launched it up court and, and got that done. Uh, you know, I, I, the, you know, fouling and stuff like that maybe didn't go our way. The, maybe the officialing didn't go our way the way we'd like to see it tonight. But, uh, you know, like I say, I, I do think it was a good, solid effort by the Lady Senators tonight here at uh, the Bulldog Palace. The uh, Lady Senators are back in action Thursday at home with Crothersville, so we will be back 
um, with live stream there along with the radio. And that is a 6 o'clock game, right? No six JV? 6 o'clock game, no JV is the way I understand I it. I think that's um, right. If it changes, check our live stream page. We will let you know. But as of right now, I'm pretty sure that it's just a varsity-only contest. Right. Um, so Lady Senators do fall tonight to the Lady Bulldogs. Their record does move to 8-3 and three on the season. They will play Crothersville on Thursday. I'd um, like to give a special shout-out once again to my broadcast partner tonight, Mr. Ryan Batt, for sponsoring tonight's game. Um, you know, he was able to come through and allow us to do this game on the road, so big shout-out to him. Thank you. Along with all of our other sponsors who allow us to bring you these games throughout the year, Jamie Sullivan with Raymond James, um, the Washington County Community Foundation, Gilstraps Motors, Lynx Clothing and Shoes, Michael Long with American Family, and the Washington County um, Prevention Awareness um, group along with um, Bat Family Farms. So big shout out to all of those sponsors that allow us to bring you the, these games. Ryan, final thoughts? You know what, Craig? I, I tell you what, we you know we lose we lose a tough fought battle here tonight, and and uh, you know it's it's one of those games that you gotta you gotta learn from, and you gotta you know you gotta go back tomorrow and practice, and you gotta think, hey, what did we do? Where did we do something? You know, we need to maybe work on just a few fundamental type stuff. You know what? You know, checking that passing lane. Some of the passes we've been normally throwing tonight just didn't go through, and and uh, you know, like I say, it's just it's one of those things. We you know we need to check out just a little bit more on the rebounds. We need to get the you know our hands up in the air just a little bit more and box out. I think there's a lot of positive things that happened tonight you know the scoreboard didn't reflect it but you know we kind of got beat there in that fourth quarter you might say uh, on the end of the game but uh, you know a, a good solid effort for the senators proud of every one of them glad everybody got to listen to us on the radio tonight and and again thanks for uh, coming over here and helping us out craig yeah well we will be back in action on thursday so we're going to send it back to regular programming <laughs>